Hi everyone, thanks for joining again. Yes, we are back. We're cooking with Gwen Taylor, cooking with pumpkin. Here I am, just to show you a small meal, maybe 30 minutes or less, cooking with pumpkin. Yes, but it's not just for the wives. No, it's not just for the husbands, but I'm here for everyone. Just to get you up and let you know that you can do it. I believe in you, so let's get up and cook. So remember to like, remember to subscribe, and remember to share. I love y'all, so let's cook. And happy new year this is another year 2021 yay we made it we made it so i thought of something a comfort food you know it's um some areas are cold now so this is a really simple meal and it might be a little healthy too because it's a lots of vegetables so how is everyone doing i hope everyone is well and you're welcoming the new year so this we're doing chicken pot pie so you know it's all kinds of way that you can make it but i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna do it okay so i'm gonna start with my um vegetables the first one is what i'm gonna start with the onions i'm gonna add onions now if you don't want to add onions you don't have to add onions but i'm gonna add onions i'm gonna saute my onions and then i'm gonna put my vegetables in there so i'm just using some um, frozen vegetables yeah that's what i'm using so I, so I cut up, you know, dice onions. See my onions? So I'm going to saute my onions. And then I'll saute my, put my vegetables in there. Now, you know, there's all kinds of ways you can do your chicken pot pie. Because it's called a chicken pot pie. So you want to make it maybe like a pie. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to do mine. So this is a chicken. I'm starting with the chicken pot pie with the onions. So I'm going to saute my onions. I'm going to turn my oven on. So my oven on. I was trying to find a, a do or eat something, of course, quick for 30 minutes. So I hope this will cook in 30 minutes. But, you know, because you can use um, Bisquick mix to make your, your crust. Um, you could uh, pie crust. You could use, um, what else? You could use uh, bis biscuit, like a biscuit um the, the little um, bis biscuits, you can use that. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to use in just a minute. So I'm sauteing my onions, getting my onions ready to go in. Not, not a whole bunch of onions. You can do bell peppers, you can do celery, you can do all. Oh, but what I'm doing, I'm doing my mixture of vegetables. So I have corn, I have green beans, I have carrots, I have peas. Yes, you know I love carrots. So it's like four different vegetables. So with the onions, it's gonna be like five. So I'm gonna saute my vegetables. And, and you know, they were frozen, so I let them sit out for a while. So they said like, um, for this one, it's probably, I'll put some more vegetables in it. So I just had a bag of vegetables. I'm going to add some more vegetables. Cause you want it to be, you want it to be good. So there goes the vegetables, sauteing the vegetables. Let's see what I have in them. So I'm going to add some pepper. I'm going to add some pepper to it. Oh, I probably should add some little garlic too. I know somebody, I have my cameraman here, so I think he probably wants some garlic. So I probably need to get some garlic. Let's see if I have some garlic seasoning. I don't have no fresh garlic. Let's see. Oh, you know what I have? I have some roasted garlic. So we could do that. We could add some roasted garlic to it. I don't know if I can get this top on. Oh boy, this top is. I don't oh, there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here comes some roasted garlic herbs. So just to give it a little kick, some roasted garlic herbs. Can you smell it? Oh, mm, to clear you up. <laughs> That's the garlic. That's all the garlic I'm going to use, Kendall. That's all the garlic. So, so that's roasted garlic. So there it goes. And so you can add heavy cream to it if you want to. Uh oh, that's a bad part of the green beans. They have the whole. So I'm going to take that off. You can add heavy cream to this. Some people add heavy cream. Some people add cream of mushroom. 
There's all kinds of ways. Oh, this one is to have all kinds of little stems in it. I don't want to eat the stems, but I guess you can eat it. It'll probably still be good. But I'm not going to eat the stems. But what I'm going to add to mine, I'm going to add cream of chicken. Cream of chicken because, you know, you know, you want to have like a sauce. So I'm going to add cream of chicken. And I have, so what I did, I, um, I boiled four, you know, I like the dark meat. So I, I boiled four chicken thighs. Yes. But, you know, if you want to do the breast, you can do the breast. So I, add, I, I boiled four chicken thighs. No, I don't know if I need all that. But that's the chicken thighs, and I kind of chopped them up. So I'm going to add the chicken thighs to this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the cream of chicken first. And this is 10 ounces. The cream of chicken, Campbell's, you know Campbell's. Cream of chicken. And I have some of the um, broth from my chicken that I boiled. I'm going to add that also. Because I want, you know, I need a little bit more juice, okay? <laughs> yes, but is everyone good? So that's the cream of chicken that's, that's in there. I want all of it. And I'm going to add maybe, I have a whole cup, but I'm not going to add a whole cup. So my oven is ready, so I'm going to add some of that broth. Ooh. So that's, maybe I just add like a third. I add a little bit more. Add the broth, and that's the chicken broth. So that's getting ready along with my, but you might do yours different. But I, this is the chick, this is how I'm gonna do mine. And I hope you'll try it. You know, we grew up, we didn't grow up on no, you know, um, chicken pot pie. We didn't eat no chicken pot pie. But this is, it's a really nice comfort food that you can eat. And I'm going to add, add my chicken. So I, this is four. This is four, but I'm, I don't probably need all of that. So I'm going to add my chicken in there. So maybe three chicken, three chicken thighs. But you want it to have enough, enough in it. Three chicken thighs in there. And I think I'm gonna add some more, more broth. And that's all that you put in there. I don't know, some people might add eggs, <laughs> you know. But you you know, do you, whatever you like. Use what you got in your cabinet. There are all kinds of stuff. And you know, you can um, add your mushrooms. And you know, you can even probably do like a broccoli. You can bread broccoli. You probably could do broccoli. I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna add some more juice, okay? <laughs> so I'm adding some more broth. So I use about a half a cup. Um, oh, that brush you can know what was that? A cough or what? Dude? <laughs> he has these little allergies. So, so see how it's looking? Just like that. Hey, just like that. It's, see, it's coming together good. And that's with the um, cream of chicken, the vegetables, and the chicken. This is chicken noodle soup. And you might do something different with yours. This is how I'm doing mine. So, so that's, that's, that's it. That's the filling. That's the filling for the chicken. Um, I said chicken noodle soup. Chicken, you heard me say chicken noodle soup? I think I said chicken noodle soup, but this is chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. But this is almost like a chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. This is a chicken pot pie. So that's the chicken and the vegetables and you know, if you still want to do um, the 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 um, the mushrooms, you can do the mushrooms. So, but you know what? I'm gonna add a little cheese to mine. You know, I just wanna just a little cheese. I think I just need a little cheese. You know, I like to add something a little different. Make it your own. So do what you like. So I'm gonna add a little cheddar cheese in there. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's going to be good. Just a little, just a little cheddar cheese. So, let me turn that on. So, that's ready. So, I'm not going to do a crust. I'm not going to do a crust. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Because we're trying to be a little healthy. You know, this is the beginning of the year. So, we don't need all that bread. <laughs> so, here we are. We're getting that ready. Ooh. 
so this is this is a chicken pot pie filling and there are so many um, different ways that you can do it I saw uh, the first time I think I really ate it was at a friend house and um, she came from Boston Lisa's sister and she made it with cupcakes you know the cupcake um, pan that's how she made hers and I'm not sure what what her um, crust was but um, it was really good. So everyone had their individual. So you can use your um, muffin pan and have your individual. But so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the crescent rolls. Yeah, the crescent roll. You know the crescent Pillsbury Doughboy. Yes, that's what I'm going to use because I don't want a whole lot of um, crust. So I'm going to layer that like that. And I could really just, instead of pulling it apart, just layer the whole thing, really. Mm -hmm. Just being creative, yeah. Do you. So whatever you like, if you want to add the biscuit, the Pillsbury um, Doughboy biscuit mix. But I want it so it could be done in, in less than 30 minutes. So, you know, the crescent rolls, they only take, <laughs> probably take about 12, 10 to 12 minutes. And I guess I could have put some on the bottom, but but I, I didn't do that. So that's how that's gonna look. Okay, so let's see. So you know what? You can add an egg white, add an egg white to it. But I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some butter. I'm gonna add some butter to it on the top of it. So just to make it nice and brown. And it wasn't this easy, just like that. So, you know, if you want to make your own crust, do you, do your own crust. And yes, this is homemade. Yes, I'm at home and I'm making mine. So, my chicken pot pie. So, here we go in the oven. So, we're going to put it in the oven for, let's say, 10 minutes. And let's see how it works. So, that's just like that. So see, we're not, that's not no long part. We're not in the kitchen for a long time. So we're gonna see how that works. And it smells delicious. And I think my husband's gonna like, cause he love all those, those, the mixed vegetables. So he's gonna like that. So that's what we have for dinner tonight. But um, like I said, you could add your um, pie crust. A lot of them have it on the bottom. And you see, I don't have a, a, a crust. So mine is a crust. Uh, crustless, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, chicken pot pie, yes. but it has it has the topping is gonna be a crust, and you can add the Pillsbury Doughboy um, biscuits. Some people use that and just lay them on top, and then some people add the biscuit mix. And I think you just mix up the biscuit maybe with the egg and milk, and you just you know. Um, Add that to your mixture and put it, you know, then put it on the top and then it'll rise and make a nice, nice um, crust. And then what else you can use? I said the pie crust. So, you know, just do you. If you want to do biscuits, homemade biscuits, I guess you can do that also. And that'll be your chicken pot pie. Just whatever. You might have some stuff in your, your cabinet. You know, use what you got. Use what you got. Some of you might have, you know, some leftover turkey. So you can make turkey. You can make your turkey pot pie. And then it's called uh, um, impossible pie. It's almost using the same ingredients. You can do the same thing. And this is not going to be a long pot. 10 or 15 minutes prep time. You know, just getting your chicken. And you can, for your chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken. Yeah, use some chicken that's already cooked. And you just, you know, dice it up. And that's it, just like that. It'll be ready in a few minutes. But listen, I wanted to share with you all. I I saw the other day, you know how my glasses are always getting foggy and um, especially with the mask on. Oh God, and the, you know, it really, it really gets foggy and sometimes I have to take my glasses off. But you know, my glasses get foggy anyway. You see that little line in there? Mm -hmm. It's always foggy. But now I, I I heard the other day, this young lady showed, she's a nurse. She's a nurse in the hospital. She had just gotten her shot. And she was showing you how, so your glasses won't get foggy. She said, put your mask on. 
And make sure your glasses is under the mask like that. And I'm blowing. And your glasses won't get foggy. Mm -hmm. Yay! This is one-on-one, -on -one, how to wear your mask with, with your glasses. She said if you have your, your glasses on top of your mask like that, it won't get foggy. Look, I'm blowing. It's not getting foggy. Yay! I hope I'm helping someone. Because, oh boy, these glasses, you know, you say, I want to breathe. But do you want to live? So here you are wearing the mask. It works, it works y'all. I tried it today and I was like, oh, she was right. So if you put your mat, your glasses on top of your mask, you can see me okay, Kendall? Mm -hmm. If you put your glasses on, then you, 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 know, you won't get foggy. Look, I'm blowing, ho, ho, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing. So isn't that, I just wanted to share that with you. You know, every time I try to share, share something with you. So that's, that's that. So I guess, Oh, uh, while we wait, I guess I can sing. I don't mind waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can sing. And you know what I thought of? What sound did I thought of? Uh, what sound? Oh, um, how great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Name above all names is worthy to be praised and our heart will sing how great is our god isn't he a great god he spared us another day he spared us another year we're now in another year and so many didn't make it especially with the virus and all kinds of things and all of us even Without the virus, went through so many things. But I wanted to show you all this. Look what was gifted to me. It's a pumpkin cotton board. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Isn't that beautiful? My little girl brought this for me. I'm so excited. It's, you know, I wanted to get me a new cutting board. And she found one. This was my Christmas gift. Do you like that? Everything is pumpkin. You see all these pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Isn't that pretty? She said she's going to put cooking with pumpkin on my envelope or something on. But I told her she didn't have to put anything. I just like my pumpkin. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. I love it. I got my, oh, God. Oh, I love my pumpkin. <laughs> but but um, another song that came to me, and most of you know, that have been around me. You've heard me sing this song. And this song is so appropriate for this year. And um, that we made another um, day and another month. And it's just everything is going on. And, you know, with churches, but a whole lot of, you know, businesses, they're still not open and the church is still not open, but we're still having church. Sometimes on Sundays, I might watch four or five different churches. So I said, oh, I'm getting all oh, good word, you know. But um, the song that kept ringing in my spirit today was, uh, um, I don't want to start it too high because Renee Williams would always say, go down, go down. <laughs> Sometimes I start too high. It's another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. <laughs> he has kept me from all evil with my mind, my mind, my mind. Stayed on Jesus just another day that the Lord has kept me. It's another year that the Lord has kept us. Just another year, another year, 
that the Lord has kept us. He has kept us from all evil with our mind, our mind, our mind. Stayed on Jesus just another year that the Lord has kept us. Killer, you don't know that song? No. So I don't have no help. Just another month that the Lord, sing with me, has kept us just another month that the lord has kept pumpkin he has kept me from all evil with my mind my mind stayed on jesus just another month that the lord has kept us you know because satan tried to get me last year he tried to steal my joy he tried to steal my peace he tried to steal my mind he tried to flick my body with cancer but i thank god i'm healed today because it's another day that the lord has kept me i'm glad i'm so glad so glad i'm so glad so let's get back to cooking okay it's, it's looking good it's looking good in the neighborhood so i think about a few more minutes i wonder should i just turn it up oh goodness it's looking good i'm, I'm wondering should i turn it up kendall and oh i think let's see i could probably put it on bra now no i'm just gonna turn it up a little bit more 400 and it's gonna be ready y'all in a few minutes it's gonna be ready I hope everybody is well. I'm gonna just show you my, just do like this and show my, my pumpkin. So I just thought this was so nice. I have all kinds of pumpkins that people have given me. Cutest pumpkin in the patch. And this one says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes and hello pumpkin, that's a candle. And I just get all kinds of pumpkin. There's a pumpkin back here. There's a, look at my pumpkin. You know, and my sister gave me a, a pumpkin. So I'm getting all kinds of pumpkin. And my, my just all just pumpkin, pumpkin patch, most of the pumpkin patches. And these are these are gifts that most of people give me and people send me different things, pumpkin. And uh, so I, I hope my husband will pumpkin up. Remember to like. Now how'd you get the name? Remember to share, huh? How'd you get the name? The name of what? Pumpkin. Oh, okay. Well, remember to like, remember to share, and remember to subscribe, okay? And we're almost there. We're almost there. How many minutes, Kendall, so far? Mm, 20. Look on them. I just, can't see it. Oh, you can't see it? But listen, Pumpkin, I got the name. He said, tell how I got the name Pumpkin. So when I was born, and my, he told me to tell you, I'm going to tell the story. Mm -hmm. It's not a long story. So my, um, my dad came to pick us up from the hospital, and he asked my mom. So I know my mom is watching, and she can say this is, you know, this is what she told me. And he asked, what's, so what's this one's name? Because, you know, this was her seventh. So I'm the seventh child, the last one on Joseph Cole. You'll catch it in, well, not the parking lot. Maybe, maybe you'll catch it. Later. <laughs> <laughs> or in virtual service. <laughs> so um, he said, she said, Gwendolyn. He said, what's that? He said, Gwendolyn. And she said, and he asked my dad, he asked, what kind of name is that? This was 62 years ago now. And she said, well, just call her Pumpkin. Hey, 62 years later, I'm still Pumpkin. <laughs> so that's how I got my name. That's how I got my name, Pumpkin. Oh, y'all. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, it's looking good. I'm going to turn it a little, and it's going to be ready. And you all going to see how pretty it is. It's bubbling, so all I just need to do is have it brown. Have it um, brown. So I'm um, in a few more minutes. So I, do I need to sing another song? 
but I wanted to make sure that we could do this in enough time. And I knew if I did the pie crust, the pie crust was going to take a little longer. So the crescent rolls, I think you're going to like the crescent rolls. You know, I try to be creative. I try to make it my own, you know. So you might do something different with yours. You might add something different, all kinds of spices, you know. Some people might add basils and uh, turmeric or <laughs> whatever. So you can, you know, whatever your, your palate requires. I have the taste you have the taste for you can add all your seasonings and make it your own but this is going to be it's going to be a simple meal and it's going to be ready in less than 30 minutes i know we haven't talked for a whole 30 minutes i know i haven't talked i know i've sung a little but i don't think i have so i hope you have liked and you can share it's real easy to share now all you do is push the share button and then you says uh, write a post and you hit write a post you're not writing a post and then write posts and then you share it and you don't have to start a watch party so so share it with someone because some of your friends might want to make a chicken pot pie yeah chicken pot pie so let's see how easy it is okay oh wait a minute okay let's see back up camera okay let's let's get it out Isn't that pretty? <laughs> what y'all think is bubbling? So it's ready. So that that was less than than 20, 20 minutes. So let's let's see. Let's let's dig in. Let's see. Oh, it's like I think I can taste it with you. We're gonna taste it. Oh, it looks beautiful. What you think? Oh, my. so this is a chicken pot pie. So I don't have a whole lot of crust. But it's enough. It's enough. Isn't it pretty? This is a chicken pie pie. Oh. Oh, oh it smells good. Especially that crescent roll. Oh, see how it looks? Oh. So I guess you can add a salad to this. You can, If you want a salad, you can add a salad with it. Or um, another vegetable if you want. But that that's it. Here it is. So, here it is. This is a chicken pot pie. See how pretty it is? So, oh God, we thank you for this chicken pot pie, the vegetables and the chicken and all the ingredients. You've been good. Thank you, God. So, here we go. Here we go. It's hot. Hot, hot. Ooh, it's hot, hot. It's hot, hot. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Turn that off. Okay. Here I go. Mmm. 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 That's good, y'all. That's good. My mom always said fishermen don't call his own fish stink. But this is good. I got to say it goes <laughs> good. Mmm. And that crescent roll on top. That's good. You're going to like this. So try it, okay? And you notice I didn't use any salt. I didn't use any salt. And this one, I guess it had salt in it. And I can taste the seasoning so you don't have to use no salt. I didn't use any salt and it's delicious. It is delicious. So thank you all for joining another episode of Cooking with Pumpkin. So you can try your chicken pot pie. Look how easy it was. We did it in less than 30 minutes. So thanks for joining. I'll see you all next week. I love y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining another episode of Cooking with Pumpkin. Remember to like, remember to share, and remember to subscribe. I'll see you next week.